All right, hey folks, I am going to go over in-game stuff at the moment. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of stuff that they've implemented. I'm going to showcase some of it. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Crystal Dragons. I'm going to talk about the New Dimension Dungeon. Um, I'll go to Twitch, so if someone says something, I can see what they say on my computer. Loading it up now over to this piece and then my creator dashboard and then it should refresh with my video stream there we go yeah i think got it all right so if anyone shows up in chats i'll be able to see it now all right so i'm going to start off with cherry uh if you haven't done it yet make sure you do the facebook thingy say hi say whatever done you didn't get i'd already said it apparently so i did not get the point from that i already did the facebook share um so i'm going to go back a step and back a step all right so i'm going to if you don't do it if you can every hour if you remember pick up the daily or the hourly stuff on your ship it's going to get you gold it'll get you fruit it can get you astro gems um those are effectively what it can get you. Gold, gems, fruit, astrogems. Uh, energy. Energy also. So grab that. Also always hit up the Shady Shop. Because every so often you get 50 energy for 100 gold. Always worth it. Buy it. Always buy the low light clown gems. The succubus shards. Always buy, always buy any of the shards that you see. Um, not necessarily always buy the eggs. You don't have to do that. Um, we accept stuff over here. All right, so I guess to start with, we'll go over the Astro Pups. I'm not sure why they're calling them Astro Pups, but they are. Um, they're gonna be the very top units here. We've got the little cute first one. I guess that's why it's a pup, because it's tiny. The variant and the regular version just don't look all that different. They really don't. Um, you get into the second phase. It does look a little bit different. And then we get into the third phase. The coloration is more noticeable for the differences. All right, so I'm going to bump it up to 60 at Evo 3. It is a tank type, uh, 36,000 base defense. For a tank type, that's really weird in my mind that the defense is lower than the attack. I'm not sure how that's justified for a tank, but whatever. Um, its base is going to be three star passive skill, 100% chance to restore 10% of allies hit points when attacking. So basically it's a water Persephone, kind of, sort of, in that regard, or, or <laughs> light Cosmo if you up it. Um, and then it's five star skills and 80% chance <coughs> excuse me, to reduce the enemy's attack for two turns. That's pretty weak for a five star skill. Um, I'm just, just not a fan of that. So we'll then go over to the water for the pup. Um, coloration change, much bigger difference going on here between the variant and non variant version. You got the blue versus the purple, purple pink. Actually, the coloring does look cool for the variant. I, I like it both ways. The, it, it's a it's a weird looking blue though. I guess. I you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the uh, ice dragon from Game of Thrones. That's what this coloration of blue reminds me of. Anyway, so its skill uh, bump it over to sixty. Its skills it is a balance type, so it also still has more attack and defense. And actually, I think it has more attack and defense than the fire one does. Yeah. This, the tank type, the balance type actually has more attack and defense than the fire type. A balance versus a tank. Okay, so interesting. Um, this one, he restores 20% of allies' SP when attacking. So now it's like Light Persephone with that skill. And it has the new skill Crystallization, which grants an 80% chance to stun the enemies for two turns and prevents their passive skills from activating. So I guess a passive skill, let's say someone has uh, the Light Persephone breaking out of getting stuck in something. This would ignore it. 
it would lock the Perseph the light Persephone's down regardless with their um, trinket set, which I'm not sure if that I'm not sure if that was entirely their goal. I mean, I could see it locking down maybe. Um, let's say you're supposed to be getting SP boost because you have an SP boost running on you, and that SP boost doesn't happen because the crystallization occurs. Um, I. I haven't seen it in use yet because they're not available yet, but it's a weird, a weird concept. I, I actually tried telling them they should take the um, swap that the dark and I think water bunny have um, and give that as the five star scale. I thought that would have been cool, but they decided not to take my advice. Anyway, so we're going to go over to wood and we're just going to look at the variant here. I'm not a giant fan of the difference in the variant colors. This one really, really is the worst of the three in, in, in all regards. It's a balance type. Um, at 60, it, I guess it is slightly more attack than the water balance type does, but it's a recovery seal 100% to disable the enemy's HP recovery for three turns. The only thing that's going to be useful on is it's going to be useful for um, blocking specific bosses from being able to recover their SP. That's really it. Um, I mean, you might be able to use it maybe in PvP, but no one's going to take this mod to PvP just so that they can lock down the enemy's team heals. That That's just weird. I'm, I'm not a fan of this set for, for a five-star unit. Not one that's a... a a melting set you gotta melt other you gotta melt three five stars to get one of these guys all right so that's me complaining about excuse me the uh wood version now we're gonna go find i probably won't buy it already the light version there it is one over there one too far all right the light version at level 60 is a defender type so we've got two balanced tank type and a defender type and this actually this actually I really like the setup for the most part um, basically it's defense and it's got a massive defense already of 3964 at Evo 3 um, it's a defense aggressor so think think dark sea star um, or water or wood is there um, pretty nice and then his alt is a shock for two turns that's not bad. Um, not bad for, for that ability. All right, and then the last one is the one that I'm actually interested in trying to get a hold of. If I can get lucky enough to get her, I'm not going to get a variant. <laughs> that, there's no way. But her ability is 40% morale boost, so that's nice. And tied with a 10% morale booster, that means she's going to get it every two turns. And then her ult is a 90% crystallization, which is better than the other one who only had an 80% chance for two turns. So she's a lockdown, um, which I think is pretty cool. And her, she is an attacker type as well. Her attack base is 3916, which actually, I think that matches the one I said that was the uh, defender base. Yeah, so 3916 attack matches, or actually it doesn't quite match. The defense on the 3964 is higher for the Crystal Dragon. But I think I think overall the unit's a nice, a nice unit going on there. All right, so that's one part. You also have the festival stuff going on right now. So you want to make sure that you go to your shop, and you go to shop, and you go to crystals for events. Buy all the gleams you can. I bought four skill books and ultimately pair of them off got two for units i need um i got one of the light dark gleams i didn't buy any of the five stars uh but i did buy all of the, the light and darks i did not get any unfortunately didn't get any five stars only one person in my clan got a five star out of this um i did though get a light vampire that i had not gotten yet and i finally got my dark succubus so i'm working on leveling up the Dark Succubus at the moment. Um, 
and then make sure that you go to currency and you buy oops, no, not currency, go to limited and you buy this one that's 500 gold to get you um, a gleam egg, some midstar fruits, three, three six star gem chests, 500 energy, and 500,000 gold. It's a nice little gift for Black Friday. Um, if you've got oodles of money, throw it at them. They're more than happy to have it. It helps the game. Uh, I don't have oodles of money. I'm pursuing my doctoral program, so that's not happening. All right. So I'm just going to show you real quick where my Champions League is. I'm currently at 1535. I ran some matches. I lost, lost some matches. I ran it intentionally the way I did so I could come back and just run it normally. I did auto runs, and so when I lose at that level for the auto runs and I do a rematch, I get 40 points for the win. So I net out a whole bunch ahead, which is quite useful. So my goal here is we're going to hit you first. And then there's the lock. That guy can't do anything right now. And I just, you literally just saw me one off. That is the result of my Acer getting some skill books. Um, up to the damage right there. And we do not want the Dark Persephone to be able to do anything to me. It will not be able to do anything to me because it will be too busy being dead, as will the rest of their team. I actually thought it had been phased, but it had not. And we'll go ahead and tag you with Oh, I did not land the shock. Apologies for this taking longer than expected, but she's dead now. All right, so I really don't care if he has a shield to start with, but I really don't want, I can lock her out. I'm not locking her out. Put my shield up. This is my dark bunny team, by the way. <laughs> this is my... Funky team is what this really is. Uh, that guy already almost had... Okay, I really can't afford to let him... Well, it's whether I can afford it or not it's going to happen, so whatever. I guess I'll just... I should have focused down. Anyway, he's going to get his ult off next turn. Um, so I really want the shocker gone by then. So... Can these two, yes they can. Let's leave the dark, her, and oh my gosh, you are tanky, tanky, tanky. Well, didn't land the crit. If I'd landed the crit, I would have killed her, but did not, so did not kill her. Um, I really don't expect that I'm going to win this fight because I'm going to get sapped out. Uh, yeah, well, and stunned out too. So I'm going to pass. We'll give up this round. This round was winnable. It was. I knew. I knew his uh, resist down was going to be problems for me. So couldn't do anything about it there. All right. This is my finally trinketed up Persephone. So I've got her set. Let's see if I get stunned out. I did not. I made my initial resistances. Doesn't look like any of them are running full buff breakers. I, on the other end, am running full buff breakers, so that's bad news for them. I actually don't want to kill <laughs> the guy just yet. I want to wait till next turn for the kill. And the reason being, just because, well, the reason being is because I don't want to see what's coming up. It is a dark shadow. So I'll probably take a bunch of damage, but the shield should hold against this attack. Yeah, and he's, he's actually running a stun set, so he's weaker than he should be. Bring my shield back up. And this is just... All, not all over. It's almost all over for them, except for the screaming. Alright. 
So we'll just go ahead and hit you. Well, apparently out of them, I was right. She, <laughs> she was the one to ignore because she's super tanky. But she's got no damage. So I will very much chew through her. Let me, I'm going to, yeah, this should be it. Yep, and I landed the crit. All right, so I'm going to run through and show you every one of the, the dimensional bosses now. And so this is brand new they've added into the game. Under Dimensional Rift, you have Dimensional Golems, or dimension, you have Dimensional Golem Dungeons. So I'm going to show you my easy one to do to start with. So this is against Dark, and this team I can just run the auto and it succeed. So I'm going to do that and let it do that. The other ones, um, I've got to be careful with them because I cannot just auto them. My units are not strong enough to pull that off. So I'll let this run so you can see it run. So key for this team to be successful, by the way, is uh, the light, well, they're all key, really. The light Zeus with the puncture helps a heck of a lot. The light Arthur with the every three alts a, a puncture, also helpful. Really key, though, is the light Cupid. He's the one that lets all my guys get their alts off almost all the time. Um, the light Summer Miho with the resistance ignoring is also incredibly useful. Um, basically, I, once she puts that up, they can't affect my team, which is really, really helpful. And you'll see, he's actually going to resummon his two buddies that I just killed. So he does like bringing them back from the dead so I can kill them again. Um, but once my geek team has its um, SP up like that, there's, there's just not a whole bunch they can do. Because if they survive, well, they survive two turns there I don't have a shield running but I don't need the shield because I've got immunity to the effects that they can throw uh, it looks like they are going to get a heal off though because the guy didn't kill him fast enough with the alts but it's not going to matter because the Arthur took his alt now and punctured him to death so that that is for me the easy one this team comp pulls that off smooth, smooth and easy um, I will tell you that the gem quality out of these things suck. I've probably run 400 runs, 400 runs I think at this point, out of this dungeon. And I've gotten 90% of the gems have been 5 star quality gems. And the rare few, even the 5 star quality gems, are generally going to be 2 substats. Maybe 3, almost impossible 4. And for this expensive to be that to be that way, really sucks because you're spending a whole bunch of money to get a five star gem. So they're really, really, really valuing these gems capabilities a lot is what they're trying to tell me, I guess, by this. So the water team, um, they they do a lot more damage. <laughs> I don't remember if I beat the team yet. I don't think I have beaten this team yet. Um, they're running a shield breaker pet and a fatigue pet that blocks your SP boost. So I have been trying to bring um, the girl that gives me immunity for this team as well, as well as my summer Miho, um, and the water Cura with my water Valka's lead for extra damage potential. Um, for these guys, by the way, if you don't bring something that's advantage to them, so you have to bring water to fire, if you bring fire to fire, you're at 50% less damage output. If you bring dark to fire, you're at 50% less damage. It's basically lopping 50% off the board against the non-advantageous element. You must bring the advantageous element 
or you're going to be screwed. So let me take a peek at this again to see if I want to try switching these out. I've got to keep the healer. I mean, that there's, there's just no no way around that. The shield burst, it doesn't matter. The Again, I'm running the girl that gives me the immunities specifically so that I don't have to deal with shields. Um, and I'm hoping that works because they've got a shield popper anyway. So why deal with shields if I'm going to get my shields popped regardless? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try this. Like I said, I don't remember. I, I must have beaten it because I can choose. I think to auto this fight, um, but I just don't remember if I had or not. So we're gonna go after this guy to start with and make sure I kill one. I'm not running the auto mainly because these are expensive energy runs prior to doing it. Oh well, I guess I can run the auto for this part at least because otherwise it's gonna take forever. All right, pop that up. So I just pop those two. The Summer Miho does help melt these guys out pretty easy. Do a whole bunch of damage, get some healing orbs out of that. None of them went to my Niho. My Miho is set up on SP theft, so she throws damage, she gets her SP up like that. I think what I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to give myself the attack up to start with. And I'll try for the defense break. Well, the boss took the defense break. None of the others did. Uh, I am going to go ahead and run the immunity. All right, we're going to go ahead and use her first. Because I want to get rid of those side minions, I'm just going to go ahead and hit that again. At least I got rid of one of them. Oop, come on, trigger the attack getting good damage when it's got the defense break running on it, even from her. Uh, actually, her ability is she does more damage to things when they've been hit with a, uh, a some sort of defense break anyway. So it's pretty funny that she's actually crit that guy for the damage. I'm going to go ahead and re-put up the uh, immunities. I think he's resummoning his buddies. No, he can't resummon his buddies because he still has one. Attack up, followed by, get rid of that side unit. Nice. Wow, that side unit's sticking around. He stuck around longer than the boss. All right, well, so that's my team that can beat this guy. So three, three six stars and a four star for the Kira. The attack ups and the initials helped to get rid of that side one at the start. Let's see again, another. Uh, okay, and a flat, giving me these flat things, like flat recovery sucks. So I'm not going to do this one again. We're going to switch over. And we're going to switch over to, so we've done, we've done light, we've done fire. We're going to do water now. Um, I have beaten it previously. Because otherwise the auto battle would not be an option.
<laughs> yeah, so cutting through the Benji. I'm going to turn the auto off. I don't want the Acer to use her auto on this fight. Um, the Glenda, by the way, also gives immunity. So you'll notice you'll, you'll notice the theme on what I'm doing here is that I'm bringing in lots of units with immunities. Um, her ult is immunity. Her base is a defense break, which is really handy. So we're going to go ahead and put up to start with her resiliency. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll just go ahead and run all the autos or all the all the five stars. There we go. All right, so I'm not going to run this um, auto. I'm going to run it manually just because I don't want to accidentally do something I don't want to have happen. I do want to get rid of this side minion on the right side. And probably not going to be able to get base damage I got coming in, but... Oh, I did kill it. Okay, so if I kill one off, I don't know if it will resummon the... It's both of them because it's one still there. Um, then again, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm about to hit it and kill the other one anyway with this attack. Oh, my Widdisair has a recovery block as well in case people were curious where that recovery block just came from. Uh, it looks like the Widdisair's uh, Defense Aggressor, I think, is doing more damage than her ult. Yeah, she threw 60,000 damage there. I probably should have just used my um, immunity, but I was too, too quick on the trigger. But I did not suffer for it as a result, so that's good. All right, so the Widdisair, you can actually see the Widdisair doing really good damage. Not the same level as the uh, wood Artemis. See, this this is the problem. This is why this fight's really tough. By the way, the time that I beat this guy, he actually killed himself on my on my wood cura. So so I'm gonna lose this fight. But when I beat him, the wood cura taunted him so much that he killed himself hitting her. Um, barb taunt. So he he's not going to be able to pull it off this time. Um, although she does have regenerate for health on her, so here we go. I'm going to get rid of the fatigue from her. So he's taking about six thousand consistently on himself. Now I'm taking about 7,000 damage. Oop, he resisted that too. I'm just going to put this on auto. I don't expect that I'm going to win, but it'll be amusing to see what happens. So he is starting to do more damage to himself too as he's hitting me harder. Now he's taking 13,000 to hit.
problem is I'm taking 14,000 to hit with the Barb Tonto. So this might just be a giant. Well, I might still pull it off with the Barb Taunt. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's going to do it. He's going to kill himself on the Cura again. And now I just have to hit him. And he will drop over. So the Cura beat him is what effectively just happened there. So you go, Kira. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll have to show the rest of these later. Um, I've not beaten the light one yet. I just haven't. Um, let me jump back over to the map real quick. So you just saw the water one, I beat it, the fire one, I beat beat it once um, it's another this is another one that he hits really hard So again, it's, it's just a difficult fight for this. So we'll put it where we needed to start with. And then hope for the best. All right, and you'll see that I basically beat him with curses. So if you got a fire Hades, this is who you want to take to here with the fire Saren. Because that's how you're going to beat it. And I would not do this on manual. Or on auto, do it on manual. All right, 
Uh, for now, like I said, I, I fail at dark, so, or no, I fail at light. My dark units aren't strong enough. All right, bye folks.